Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Pick your team number four. This is a wax party break, so we'll do that randomizer at the end. And all card ship. Now let's figure out which four boxes we're gonna do. Remember Jason was doing some boxes. We marked those with X's. So we'll go one, two, three for the top. We'll select a die, one of these. We'll select that Dodger blue die there. One, two, three for the top four. Four, five, six for the bottom four. Three, we're gonna do the top four right here. And then we'll save this for next time. We should be able to do this tonight because there's only, uh, this is the last one we have. Last set of four that we have and there's only, um, there's only uh, like three or four teams left. Oh, by the way, Nick Jaspi on that top camera is gonna help us out. I haven't had eyes on that chrome hanger yet, so. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so here on Monday the 17th, on my backpack, the front, right there. So Monday the 17th, 2021, Top Chrome Baseball, four box hobby, number four. Levi with Last Pod Mojo with the White Sox, thanks to him for getting into it. Thanks everybody for buying your spots straight up. We'll randomize this list at the end to see uh, who will win those wax and party spots. Good luck, everybody. I think a lot of people figured out that there are, there's a, a lot of inexpensive teams in these little four box breaks. So probably one of the more inexpensive ways to try to get yourself a, uh, a wax party spot. Chance to win a ton of wax. We're giving away 120 boxes, ladies and gentlemen. You can check out the entire, the full box list on, uh, on jazbeescasebreaks.com at the very top of the page. And always check out the schedule to see what we're up to. The schedule is always important, ladies and gentlemen, because you can also see the full, the complete uh, winners list for the wax party. So if we do a break and you don't see your name there, it's definitely uh, definitely let us know. You can help us audit that list, basically. I think we're on top of it. Usually, someone will say almost immediately afterwards, "Hey, you didn't put your names on the list," but. If you know you want a spot and your name is not on that list, definitely let us know. Let us know the break and all that. The break, the break number, etc., etc., so we can make sure that's all correct. There you go. Yeah, see? Tyler's pretty sharp. He bought four teams that were like 30 bucks each. Picked up his Braves, too. And then, ta-da, he won a wax party spot. He got a party invite and got some great party favors there, too. What's the what's the top price? Flawless, right? Flawless mm -hmm. baseball. Mm -hmm. Tell the people what that flawless baseball case sells for right now. Uh, probably thousands, right? Yeah, a few thousand. You probably fifteen hundred, twelve to fifteen hundred a box somewhere around yeah, there. So, so yeah. it's a pretty good price. Almost three thousand. Almost three thousand, maybe. All right. There's Jackie Bradley Jr., 23 out of 25 for the Red Sox. Clint on board with that orange chrome. Not sure when we're going to get baseball back, but hopefully soon. There's Casey Mize, former number one overall pick. Dylan Carlson, great prospect for the Cardinals. That'll be for Ryan Redman and the Redbirds. Tim's saying like 3000 a case for Flawless. There you go. So that's a pretty good grand prize. And then just go, just go down the list. I mean, just go down the list, and there's just incredible stuff there. Joe Adele, up and coming star for the Angels. That'll be for Ford and the Halos. And there's our first autograph, Yerman Mercedes. Remember, had that really hot start at the beginning of 2021. Levi with the White Sox. Oh, sorry, Levi. A lot of dust on that top loader, but. Card is clean, Nick Madrigal, Joey Bart, black and white Chris Sale is a variation, Joey Bart, future Buster Posey maybe. Yeah, well there's it's not just about that flawless baseball. Tyler's like he he likes the case of Topps Chrome Black, which is a really underrated product, I think. 
That'd be a nice one to, to hit. So full list of uh, box giveaways on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. By the end of the day, we should be pretty close to half being halfway through or getting halfway through the promo, which would be awesome. I think we're at a, I think we're at a pretty good pace. Ryan Mountcastle, he's pretty good. Cabrian Hayes and that mid '80s design that I really like. And our second autograph is Jemai Jones, rookie auto for the, uh, for the Halos, Ford, with the Angels. All right, box one in the books. Second box. Tim, what were you saying earlier? I think you had a you had a comment for me earlier. Tough loss, but probably the best game of the wild card weekend so far. Came up a little short. Yeah, listen, I'm I'm pretty impressed that the Raiders got within nine yards, Tim, of of tying that game. So. I mean, pretty good season overall. I think the big key now is how will the Raiders um, move forward and kind of build upon this sort of, you know, this small little core, this foundation. They already fired Mike Mayock today. And that's something that I was kind of thinking was going to happen. Got to get a little more, uh, I don't know if this is a variation or a lot. This looks different. Juan Soto for the Nationals, Kenneth. So I think if they get to get a little more experience in that front office, that experienced front office can hire an experienced coach, you know, and I think try to establish some front office consistency from here on out. There's Luan Diaz for Adam and the Marlins. That is the hope, and then they can build upon this. A couple more free agencies, a couple more drafts. And then, you know, Raiders might be good. Well, they have to figure out what to do with quarterback. They got a lot of decisions in the offseason. Bobby Dalbeck for the Red Sox. Clint, here's Aaron Judge to 299 for the Yankees. And more Bobby Dalbeck right here. The Yankees will be for Frank. So, yeah. Dak, or Dak Prescott, I think Derek Carr entering the last year of his his deal. So do you extend him? Do you not? So they got to they got to figure all that out. What's the availability of guys like Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers? Got to figure that out too. So we'll see what happens. Should be a pretty exciting off season. Should be a lot of action happening. Sterling Sharp, rookie auto going to Kenneth. I got eyes on. It. Got eyes on it. All yeah. right. Hanger boxes exist. That'll be coming up after this. Dak got cheated. The ref ran to Dak in the last five seconds. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the what the storyline is. Some people are saying Dak should have given the ball to the official. What about that? That's what you do. You always give the ball to the official. Let them spot the ball. There's Mountcastle for the Orioles, Adam. Ooh, we got a red wave. Dansby Swanson, one out of five for the world champion Braves. Matt Medlin with the Bravos. Nice action shot there. Nice Dansby and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, and a nice gold wave. What a box. Gold wave Joey Bart. For my rivals, the Giants, that goes to Dylan and the Giants. That should be out of 50. Yeah, there you go. 34 out of 50. Nice. Nice rookie auto. 
Adam's saying, just my opinion, but it was more of a play call and execution. See, that's what I thought too. My first reaction when I saw that play was, was why are they doing that? I know it's easy to blame the ref, but I think they shouldn't have made that play call. I mean, I've been hearing, I was hearing that like, maybe if this is Dak Prescott, maybe he was only supposed to run like 10 yards, leave more seconds left and then spike it. But then he took like another extra handful of yards, which took off more seconds. So I think some have argued that that was also just a miscalculation on the play. You know, like let's say you wanted to get a tiny bit closer with a run, spike the ball with like three seconds left. Here's uh, Eddie Alvarez for Adam and the Marlins. And then you set up the next play. I think maybe that was an idea that they were thinking about. You know, so I don't know. You can make the you can make that argument as well. Right, I know he was annoyed and still in shock. Dax comments, Adam saying, was a little classless. Yeah, I kind of agree. I think you could think that privately. I think if you're a fan, you can say comments like that, but I don't know, not if you're the, the, the quarterback of a franchise like that. To Kyle Lewis at 399. And Stephen Flat's like, moot point. They were going to hit on that Hail Mary anyway. All right, what are the chances of that? There's the Mariners, Clint. Oh, well, yeah, very crazy finish to the game, though. We got a blue auto, Chris Bubich for the Royals, Chad Daw on the board. A little color match on that, 63 out of 150. All right, yeah, you can't have fans, so you can't encourage, yeah, you can't have that be acceptable behavior. You just rather, rather not have that. Dak Prescott can't encourage that. I mean, you gotta be a, gotta be a win, lose, or draw, you gotta be a leader of the franchise. Tony Gosselin, Catman, loves cats, 111 out of 150. Here's Mike Trout, Refractor. And we've got a Jorge Mateo autograph for Kenneth and the Padres. There you go, Kenneth. Well, Cowboys have to regroup. They've got a, they've got a pretty good team, Cowboys. It's just, they just got to get over the hump. You know, I think if they just, they just continue to add pieces to that team through free agency and the draft, you know, get a little lucky in some of these games, then I think they'll be, uh, I think they're almost there. All right, done with the break. Pretty quick one, thanks to Nick. Let's uh, flip back to the list and give away those uh, wax party spots. Let's gather everybody's names from Chad down to Kenneth and everybody in between. New dice, new list, and it's going to be the top two after five. Top two after five, you're in the wax party. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five. Remember, if you don't make it, there's still a lot of breaks to go to knock out this uh, before we complete this promo. So keep trying. Levi, 
close, no cigar. Thanks for trying. Thanks, everybody. But sad times. Congrats to the top two, though. Happy times for Nico and Dylan. Congrats to you. After five, you're the top two. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time for the next Wax Party Break. Bye-bye.